For this test, we need to measure specific characteristics on the output of the electronic switches. Measurements we're interested in include the output voltage level, the current through the circuit, the actual current, and calculating the power through the circuit to see if there are any other load conditions. We might also want to look at the fast rising edge of the switch, a measurement called DVDT, or delta voltage of delta time. For the first measurement we're going to set up, we'll be using the voltage probe on channel A and the current probe on channel B. We'll set up the scope to automatically measure the power across the switch. Press the scope button. Readings on. Then choose reading one to measure power across A and B. Selecting watts mode will give you the unit of measure you need. Scale the sensitivity on the input probe to 10 millivolts per amp or whatever the current probe you have selected. Once you've stepped through those key presses, you can see input A or measurement A. You're measuring the power in watts across the fast switch. The next measurement we'll set up measures the voltage on input A. To begin, select Reading 2, measuring on input A. Next, we'll measure the voltage AC plus DC across input A. You can see the second measurement on input A, in this case, 23.5 volts RMS. For our final measurement, we're going to look at the current on input B. Once again, select My Reading, then Reading 3. Choose Input B. Now we're set up to measure current on input B. What you see on the screen are three independent measurements. Measurement 1 is looking at the power of channel A and B. Measurement 2 is looking at the voltage across the switch. And measurement 3 is of the current through the switch. By looking at those three measurements on that electronic switch, you can now accurately quantify those characteristics and make sure that those values or measurements are within the design characteristics of your system.